CBS Pittsburgh was reporting on June 24, 2022, Dick's Sporting Goods CEO announces travel expense reimbursement to employees seeking abortions in another state. Pittsburgh KDKA, KDKA, following the Supreme Court's ruling that has overturned Roe v. Wade, Pittsburgh-based Dick's Sporting Goods CEO has announced that the company will provide travel expense reimbursement for employees seeking abortion access. Company President and CEO Lauren Hobart posted the announcement to her LinkedIn page. We recognize people feel passionately about this topic and that there are teammates and athletes who will not agree with this decision. However, we also recognize that decisions involving health and families are deeply personal and made with thoughtful consideration. We are making this decision so our teammates can access the same health care options regardless of where they live, and choose what is best for them, Hobart said. The company will provide employees across the U.S. who need to travel to a different state for abortion access up to $4,000 in travel expense reimbursement, Hobart said in the post. She said the benefit will be available to employees, spouses, or dependents enrolled in the company's medical plan. They can also travel with one support person. We are prepared to ensure that all our teammates have consistent and safe access, safe access to the benefits we provide, regardless of the state in which they live, Hobart said. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf put out this statement in support the company. Pennsylvania Company Dix has promised to protect team members who live in states where abortion access is restricted. Today, the company announced a $4,000 travel reimbursement for those seeking reproductive health care out of state. I applaud Dix for this swift action. Other companies announced similar plans on Friday after the ruling came down. J.P. Morgan Chase is one. The investment bank company said abortion has long been a covered service but it will now be included under its health care travel benefit. It will go into effect July 1st. Give me a break. So, J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, any business I would have ever considered doing with you until you reverse this, I have no intentions of doing business with you. Dick's, when I found this out, I stopped shopping at Dick's. There has got to be some sort of a, a line drawn in the sand. I am sick and tired of all this garbage being foisted upon us. And if you're going to be involved in, in, in abortion, abortion, being involved with abortuary systems, forget you. Cancelthiscompany.com. Check out cancelthiscompany.com. Businesses like this, I don't have any interest in doing business with you. If you're going to go woke, you go broke. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, for instance, says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19 to 20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 5, 10, 9-10 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. 
For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.